you know, a real wrestling match in the arena, especially in the days of ancient Greek, in Greece, they didn't, one opponent didn't come out alive. You have got to realize, in the final analysis, Satan is out to kill you. One way or the other. Huh? And we're living in a day now where may the best man win. Well, you know who the best man is. Oh, you better go away from here. The best man is Jesus. Now, when you speak of a wrestling match, you're speaking of a struggle. Wrestle means to throw one another, to press the hold down with the hand. And this is why the devil is working to try to get a hold on you, to pin you down, to make you cry uncle, to make you give. But these are the days we've got to know the strategy. I found out if you can stay on your feet, if you have to lean up against the wall to keep from falling, if you have to lean up against every promise that God has given you to keep from falling. Because you know, even the society we live in, once you fall, they're going to put their foot on you. But if you can stay on your feet, you may reel, you may rock, but stay on your feet, man. Don't let it get you down. I don't care what it is. Don't let it carry you under. It's the will, it's the purpose of the enemy to carry you under. But tell him, devil, I refuse to go under. I refuse to go under. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but number two, principalities. Principalities are master spirits. Great prince of darkness, evil beings of high rank and dominion. You know, I often tell people this. You remember when the disciples was trying to cast the devil out of that little boy? All 12 of them. Can you imagine? Just picture 12 preachers. Come on out of him, you devil. Don't you come back and do The bar was getting worse. So you know what happened? The man looked and saw Jesus coming, and he didn't want to make them 12 preachers feel bad. Thank you. He left, thank you. He does look some better. Thank you so much. Come on, son. And while he was yet coming to Jesus, the devil threw that boy down and began to tear him. You can always tell when deliverance is near because the devil trying to make the situation look more worse. Hallelujah. Devil threw him down and began to tear him. You know why the devil threw him down? Because the devil knew that was his last throw. Look at the one next to you and tell him, neighbor, I know the devil's been fighting you. Situation. But today is his last throw in this episode. Understand me. This is what we don't realize. People don't realize that different right now after Jesus cast the devil out, the disciples didn't say nothing around there. They waited till the meeting was over. And they said, Listen, God, Jesus, we haven't been so embarrassed in all of our lives. We didn't call you, you called us. And you told us you'd make become fishes of men. And all 12 of us couldn't do a thing with that demon in that boy. Why couldn't we cast the devil out of him? No, Jesus said, this kind. We've come to the this kind. 